All right, so a big part of this butterfly guard is, a uh, big part of an effective butterfly guard is learning to feel your opponent's balance, learning to feel where their weight is and when they're starting to tip. Okay, so but the, the traditional butterfly sweep, kind of the, the old school version, you got, uh, you got underhooks, you pulled them back, elevated, and then you were taking them over, right? What we're seeing a lot now with a lot of, uh, a lot of higher level competitors, it's, more, it's a lot less about pulling their weight on top of you, more about getting yourself underneath their hips as you're tipping them a little bit. So what I mean is, this first one we did here, so you're gonna sit down a little bit on your butt. There you go. This first one we did here, I started pushing this, pushing this, uh, this wrist low. This underhook was starting to tip John this way. So now his weight was more on just one knee. So that way when I start to elevate, his other leg's light. There's not a whole lot of weight on that leg. It's really easy for me to start taking him up and over. So it wasn't so much about pulling John, John's weight on top of me, which can work. But it can be very difficult if he's a lot bigger than me. Like John's, John's a big guy. It's very difficult to make John go somewhere that John does not want to go. Okay? It's a lot of pulling, it's a lot of manipulation. So rather than worry so much about trying to get their weight pulled all the way on top of you to sweep, you can get them leaning one direction, that sweep will open up a lot quicker for you. Okay? So that last one we did, the, we had the other hook and we had the wrist, we started pushing it down. So this next one we're going to do, I'm just going to have this hook in here. Go just, just, just sit back this one. Have this hook in here. I'm going to go to a collar tie. Okay? The collar tie, I'm just going to kind of clamp on his elbow here and start pushing this in. So what I'm doing is my hands are kind of going to cross like this. So I'm going to start pushing him this way. Okay, so my, my top hand is pushing John's head this way, and I'm pushing his, his elbow into his body here. So the trick is, though, since I'm a little farther away, I have a lot of levers to start sweeping here. So I have to scoot in as I sweep. So when I'm in this position here, be a little bit more out. You guys can do it this way, you can do it this way, it doesn't matter. But the foot that's not sweeping, so my left foot's not gonna do the moving, my bottom foot's gonna do the moving. I gotta scoot in and then sweep. Okay, so it's a really weird drill where you go up, up, okay? It's, it's kind of new for me too, I've been working on it a lot. Um, my, my friend of mine, Jeff Rockwell, who showed this to me at a seminar I went to a while ago. Um, it's been something I've been really, 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 really working on. So if you watch Marcelo sweep, that's how Marcelo does a butterfly sweep. He starts fairly far out, he shoots his hips underneath as he's tipping him a little bit. So he gets a, a dynamic going where he's bringing him in and he's going underneath to make a lot, a lot more pressure, a lot more leverage. So when I'm here, I want you guys to get this elbow, get the head, push, pull, and then sweep. Then get used to coming up and controlling that head. So you're pulling that head down and over. So you're kind of doing like a, uh, like you're turning a big bus wheel. Pull that head over and towards you at the same time. You're like a little bicep curl. So I'm here, got the elbow, push that elbow in, I'm pulling John's head towards me and this way. So left, like there's a bullseye right here, I'm trying to get John's face to hit it. And then from here, start a little bit away, scoot your hips in, and start elevating. Start coming up and over. Okay? So you gotta get used to making that, that off balance without having an underhook. You're just getting used to feeling where, where, that, where that position is without having a super strong attachment, right? So it can happen very quickly when you're rolling your competing. Cool? Yep. Let's give it a shot, guys. Yes, one more time. The collar tie, I was pushing John's, John's elbow into his body here. So when I, when I do this for real, it's going to be really quick. I just go, whoosh, hit it. But my bottom foot, the one that's not, 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 not working as the butterfly hook, is going to pull me in. And then I elevate. Come on. Okay? In position, what should that be? Is that side control? Any position can be a little bit of a scramble. Okay. So if you get up knee on belly, it'll probably be most common. Question. Alright, guys, give that a try.